Tommy Riz in here. Oh, there he goes. Brother Dave East. What's up, the, my boy? The live. How you doing, my brother? I'm good, man. I can't complain. I want to wish you and your family a happy Thanksgiving, happy holidays. You know what Boomerang. I'm saying? Boomerang. Right back to you. You know that, bro. You know, listen, man. I want to tell everybody, man, me and Dave East, on a personal level, we're getting to know each other finally. But when it comes to the music and everything, shout out to Fat Joe. Fat Joe's in here. Crack. Shout out to Crack in here. Shout out to Ted Smooth in Ted here. Ted Smooth, East Side shit. What's up, baby? You know, Dave, Dave could tell you how much I was always behind his music. Day one. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was always pushing Dave East. I was always, you know, whatever I was doing. from the, for, I, I still remember pushing his soap, you know, from, 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 um, from internet radio, right? Pushing the music so hard, Dave. Remember, pushing it when I was on PC and radio, and even when I was working at Sirius XM when I was doing Shade Forty Five and everything. I, I gotta say, I'm gonna pat myself in the back. I was probably one of the first, first to support. Or like that's why I said at the end of the day, anything you ever call me for is automatic. There's no question because you was definitely one of those people that was definitely very valuable and monumental as far as the way I got in the game and got my show getting in tune with me, all the clubs we was at together, all, you know what I mean? Just a lot of, we got, we got a lot of history, man. Word. Thank you. Thank you. And, 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 you know, people understand, people know, even Joe, Joe can tell you, Joe's in here, like, you know, I don't co-sign for things that I don't feel like needs to get co-signed, you know, when I hear the right, when I, I have that ear that when I know it's, there's music, is music. You right. know what I'm saying? And, and and I'm blessed. I'm even blessed to have the boss man like Fat Joe step to me and be like, yo, Lou, what you think of this record? Right. And now, all the way up, and, and every other record is, that's been out there, even with your records, you know what I'm saying? It's just right. phenomenal, phenomenal. But right. I want to thank you. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming to the to, to cracking season four. We here, man. You know what I'm saying? We so, here. I want to talk with you real quick before we start the deep. Lou, I can I can smoke on your show. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Come on, man. I got, I got it. I'm gonna ask you, man. You know, I'm respectful, man. I'm gonna ask, man. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Shout out to DJ Walla. Walla came in just. Walla, in time. what up, man? Just in time. So listen, man. Dave, let's let's talk about the beginning of your career. Let everybody right. know exactly where you're from. You know what I'm saying? Right. And what made you get into this world? Of hip hop, hip hop. Um, originally, I'm from Harlem. I'm from the east side of Harlem, First Avenue, 1199. I I, I lived in Ravenswood and Queensbridge in Long Island City, back and forth. My family was over there. My family was uptown, Morningside. Up. I, I was I was just back and forth Harlem and Queens all my life. But the rap shit was like clothes. You know what I'm saying? It was like food. It was like like any anything else that I needed to 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 make me feel good, it, it was always there. You know what I'm saying? The rap shit from early as, like I always tell people, my first shit I ever bought was, um, it's Dark and Hell is Hot, DMX album. DMX album. That was the first shit. I, and from then on, it was like, this is different. You know what I'm saying? This is like a, um, this is something that I want to know. I want to learn all I can learn about it. I want to, um, I want to be a part of that. You know what I mean? I, I want to be a part of that culture more than just listening to it. You know what I'm saying? I always wanted to be able to bring something to the table. And fortunately for me, I could rap. You know what I'm saying? Just from studying different artists like Joe, like Pun, like, you know what I'm saying? Like like Kim, like Mace, like like Capo, like, you know what I mean? Biggie, Nas, all these artists, Stavs, The Locks, Kiss, all these different people. So at the end of the day, it feel good to even be doing this with you. To get the to get the feedback I get from those artists that inspired me to get into the game, you know what I mean? It, it feel good. And let me tell you, I say it all the time: eighty to eighty-five percent of our viewers tonight are all upcoming DJs who are trying to break through in this. Shouts to all the DJs, man! Without y'all, this shit is impossible. You heard? Definitely, definitely. Before we speak on DJs, because that's the whole you know the, the show's about the DJs and all that right. stuff, like. Listening to DMX, you know what I'm saying? Growing up, especially like to Nas, you know, to everybody from Queens and all that stuff. Like, what made you really push and say, yo, I wanna do, I wanna be somebody different. I wanna be somebody different in this game. You know what I'm saying? 
gonna keep it real with you, Lou. At the end of the day, I sat back and watched all of them. You know what I'm saying? Big, Hove. Um, not I watched all like I was really a student, and and the one thing that they all had that was different than the rest of the game was they was telling their story. You know what I'm saying? They didn't. They didn't. They wasn't just grabbing it out the sky or just creating, you know what I mean? Like they all, they like, Hope brought you to Marcy early on. Nas brought you to the bridge early. Like they just brought you in their life. So I figured my my life was crazy enough as it already was going. I said, let me just talk about this shit from the ball to the, to everything. You know what I'm saying? So I said, let me, let me, if I'm gonna jump in this shit, I'm gonna get this shit, everything I got and I'm gonna be authentic with it. I'm going to be, I'm going to be truthful. I'm going to be, I'm going to keep my same people around me. I'm going to be solid. You know what I'm saying? And let me tell you, keep your word, my brother, because you've been, we've been solid since day one. Not That's all you got. Change, not even, not even a, let me tell you, nah, I have to, I got to put it out there, man. When I made the phone call and I said, yo, East, man, I need you on the show. He didn't even, act, yo, he, you're probably one of the first person that had me on, that I have on the show. That didn't even ask me what time you're going on or what day you need me. Automatic. You was like, I'm there. There's nothing to talk about. If I'm if I'm if I'm if I'm free to do it, you got me, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you gotta always like I don't forget people that was was there. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like once you forget that, you forget yourself. You forget what what, what you came from, what what even, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you gonna always you always trying to climb the ladder, so you gonna always you know be trying to get to the next A and R, the next deep, the next the next thing. You know what I mean? But you can't forget the people that that even gave you the first look or even paid attention to your shit when ain't nobody cared. Like you know what I'm saying? I was running around trying to get my shit to everybody. You know what I'm saying? And you was one of the people that said, "Send it, send it, send it." Here go my email. Send it. Like you know what I mean? So. That go a long way with me, bro. You know what I mean? And I appreciate that, man. And speaking of speaking of send it, how important is the DJ to you in your career? How important has the DJ been for you? My 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 whole thing. From the from day one. Shouts to DJ Radio. He the reason it even it, it ever, you know what I mean? He 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 brought me in the shit. You know what I mean? I was down in Baltimore for a while. I played ball out there. I did some, some time out there. And so I came home. I locked in with DJ Radio. Shouts to my brother, Big Bully. He linked me with Radio. Radio linked me with Case Slay. Case, I, I, I was already, like, familiar with Slay, but I, I didn't have a name. Like, I didn't have the, 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 the music or the, I just didn't, you know, I just would see Slay and shit like that. Slay from, from the east side. So I would see him, shit like that. I know it's, I know his nephew and shit like that, but radio brought it to Slay. Slay start playing it on Shade 4 or 5. It went from that to most of the DJs on Shade 4 or 5 really supporting it. Scram jump shouts to Scram. He hosted one of my first mixtapes. Um, I don't want to leave nobody out, man. Superstar J. Uh, um, it's so uh, a Sway. It's, it's so many people. You, it's just so many people that and and if I did, if I ain't say nobody name is I'm high I don't you know what I mean but I the love is the love is pure but the DJ it went from that then it went I felt good with that I was like all right I'm I'm, I'm making I'm making some some motion in this shit then it went to to, to flex you know what I'm saying I got I got with flex then I got with clue it's always been the DJ enough like you know what I'm saying like cipher sounds like. It's all. It's, it it always was the DJs that kept me in motion. Like, I, of course, I had to work and make sure I, I had the shit to give to the DJs. But without the DJs, I wouldn't. The New York City wouldn't be knowing what's going on, and and without New York City knowing what's going on, the world wouldn't have knew. Right. It had right. to. It had to start at home. You know what I mean? Right. And how is the DJs with you now, especially across the world now? Now, now, like you 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 know, worldwide, worldwide um artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, how's the other DJs treat you across the world that, that is not from the East Coast? All love. All love. Early on, shout out to DJ Ski over in L.A. Let me let me rock with in his studio for a whole week. And, I, and before anybody, I had nothing going on. He, he just let me get his studio. Shout out to DJ Drama and Holiday down in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? They both hosted multiple tapes of mine. You know what I mean? And these are all people that I grew up 
hearing them hoes Weezy tapes and Drake tapes and so the, the fact that I, I was able to get it to that point, I said, yeah, my shit moving. But it was always the DJ. Like, the DJ did it. It wasn't just me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was the DJs that was gassing that shit and screaming over them records and running it back and dropping them bombs and whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whatever y'all was doing on them shits, y'all y'all, y'all, definitely the reason for a lot of shit I got going on. You know what I mean? What type of advice would you give to the upcoming Bobby people? Trends? That's another one I forgot. Bobby Trends, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Trends. Somebody tag Bobby in here. Cam man. Camillo. Cam DJ Camillo. Camillo been rocking forever. Like, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's a, it's a lot of DJs, man. I don't want to leave nobody out, but it's a lot, bro. What advice would you give to the uh, new upcoming DJs who's trying to break through right now? Especially, like, let, like as, let's speak on this pandemic on 2020. Right. You know? This pandemic, you know, the the COVID COVID nineteen just it really put a stop. And this is one of the reasons why I'm I've been doing this show four seasons already since March. Right. You know, it's it stopped the game plan for a lot of DJs. And we were all in the clubs. We were all breaking records. We can't even like I haven't been on in a hot ninety seven studio since the pandemic. We've been pre recording and, and and all that stuff. Flex Flex came met me on the block to do the freestyle. That was you know the first. I never did that before. I'm like I'm, I, you know, you, I'm used to going down there. He pulled up on me, so I, the pandemic shit is crazy, man. But everybody got to stay safe and you know follow follow what they saying. I feel like it sound corny a lot of it, but you got to follow that shit because it's people. You know what I mean? That's right. really going through it every day. So the faster I feel like people follow what's going on, the faster we get back to life as we know it. You know what I mean? Would you what what advice would you give these new upcoming DJs? What they what what would you tell them from Davies right now, like for the new, the newer DJs coming up, newer DJs that, that that's losing faith because they can't get out in the world. You know that's why I'm giving them this platform. What advice would you give to them from Davies? You gotta you gotta find that artist that ain't got that name yet. You gotta find that you gotta you gotta get with them artists that that's on the brink. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 right there. You gotta embrace them because they ain't going. I'm telling you, they're not gonna forget that shit because they. They they hoping somebody embrace their shit right now, you know what I'm saying? And they might not have a name to get it to a funk flex or to get it to the top, the the, the DJ clues and the LA leakers and all these. You know what I mean? They they might can't get it there. So y'all kinda at the same spot. You trying to get your DJ shit up, the artists trying to get their shit up. You gotta find them artists that's you know, don't just get with anybody, but somebody that you get you, you know when you when you hear certain artists, you feel it. You know what I mean? They they hold, they got their package already together. They they got the look, they got the sound, they got the, you know what I mean? They just, they shit is there. You got to get behind them, reach out to them guys, you know what I mean? And, and embrace them guys. Because once they get, once they cross over, who they going to rep? They going to rep the DJ that was repping them. That's right. You know what I mean? Same way I, you call me out the blue, Lou, I get right on this shit with you. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, that's, that's, that's just real shit. And then the ones that don't do that, that's the suckers. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and it ain't it's it's no gray area. It's real and it's and it's fake. You know what I mean? So I feel like embrace them younger artists that ain't got them names yet. Cause them niggas that got them names already, they ain't gonna be worried about you. You know what I'm saying? Like they not. You gotta embrace them guys that ain't got them names yet. You know what I mean? Clark Kent, what's up? Shout out to Clark Kent. Here. Shout out to my brother Clark Kent, man. What 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 um what upcoming artists you listening to right now? Like who who Who's who's on your mind right now? Like who who you you know? Right now, I got I got I got a few man. I got I got of course my team first and foremost. Um, everybody that's involved with what I got going on: Piff Jones, um, Rich Rama, Jay Prezi. Um, these these is all these is New York artists. But then I'm 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 tapped in with Joey Fats over in L.A. I'm tapped in with the with the kid. Um. From from North Carolina, what's his name? Moray. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. He's right. dope. There's a lot of newer dudes that I'm, I'm I've been I've been tapping them. Benny and them is fire. I, I talk with Benny and them all the time. I love Shout out to Benny. I'm so glad them niggas came out, man. Cause I was getting nervous. I was like, they really nobody don't like the younger. Nobody really want to rap. You know what I mean? But um, it's a lot of different artists, man. A lot of different artists. Uh, Damn, it's it's it, at the end of the day, that's like with the DJs. I don't want to leave nobody out. You know what I mean? But <laughs> the niggas, the niggas know. You know what I mean, if I'm working with them, uh, uh, Border Buck, Fire, uh, 
trying to think who else got some shit. Young Drugs, fire. Kwani O, fire. Uh, Bango Mighty, fire. Uh, damn, who else? It, it's, it's a lot, man. Rest in peace, my brother Shooter. He was, you know what I'm saying? He was, he had some shit with him. You know what I mean? My brother Drano. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a lot of people that's doing their thing right now. And I feel like the climate of hip hop is is where I, where I is is coming back around. Like, when well, you paying attention to what niggas is talking about, you know what I mean? It ain't just the, the beat and the dance no more. Like, I feel like it's 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 coming back to them lyrics, man. And that's the shit that inspired me to even do this shit. You know what I mean? Right, right. Well, listen, I'm gonna just say one more question before we D. go. D Jones from Philadelphia. Shout out to D Jones. Yo, I heard a couple of his. D Jones, don't stuff. let me forget Jonesy. D fucking of Jones at D Jones two and five, North Philadelphia. Please get in tune. Millie's Boston, listening. Crutch Calhoun, Roselle, New Jersey. Like I said, man, I, it's we loaded on this side, man. But I love the climate of hip hop right now. That's what's up. That's what's up. Give me your most memorable moment of your career. Most memorable moment? Yes. Uh. The day Nas signed me. Oh, how was that? Well, I caught the train to Mass Appeal. I ain't even had no Uber money on me, Lou, you heard? I ain't had no cab. I might have had like 15 cash. And I was in, I was coming from Ravenswood. And I think the Mass Appeal, that shit like a $25, $30 cab ride. Got on the train. Got down there. He was When I got to the office, him and Peter was there. It was surreal, you know what I'm saying? He gave me a rolly. First time I got a real a real rolly in the green box and all that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he gave my deal. We hugged. We toasted some champagne. And I got back on the train. Shout out to Bobby to the, Trends in here. Bobby in here. Bobby, what's up, baby? I got back on the train. Uh, I got off on the F train on 21st Street in the bridge. And I walked to Ravenswood with my deal in my hand and my rolly on. Holding the box like I'm dolo by my just walk back to my hood. I went to my cousin Pooch Low crib and was like, Yo, Nas just signed me. Like, it didn't even feel I didn't know how to feel, you know what I'm saying? But I was like, Yo, I just signed with Nas, bro. This shit, this shit might change up for a nigga, like, you know what I mean? And from that day on, I never looked back, bro. Like, you know what I mean? I no. just went up, I went up from that day, but I, I caught the train back from, from Soho. To the bridge with my deal in my hand, bro. You know what I'm saying? The day Nas saw me. So that that's something that'll always, you know, now is always this calm, that calm, then this baby. You know I, mean? I was like, yo, I really went, caught the train to sign with this nigga. And then caught the train back with the rolly on me and all that. Like that was Ooh. that will always be ill for me. The best experience, I know that. Always right. be ill for me. Best experience. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time. We already know why we're here. To all my people who's been watching the show since season one, we are now about to start season four. Thank you to all the new viewers that are in here. Let's start it off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Turn the Tables with Pretty Lou as I bring two up-and-coming DJs as they're going to battle to see if they are real DJs. And tonight, my special guest is no other than my brother, Dave East. Yeah! All right? So Dave East will be given the questions and also their 10 minute sets so let me explain the show to everybody in here we are bringing two upcoming djs okay both djs are going to get two 10 minute sets it's not what they want to play it's what dave east tells them what to do uh -huh. all right he is the special judge tonight so now let me give the rules and regulations to the two djs that are going to battle tonight for the crown of season four. Rule number one, there is absolutely no drops and no sound effects during their DJ sets. So they, they can't play no sound effects. They can't play their name. They can't play the radio station. Straight from. music. Strictly music. We don't want to hear no horns, nothing. If Thanks, me sir. and Dave hear any of that, you are disqualified. Instantly. Instantly. Rule number two, there is absolutely no mashups. No mashups. No mashup. They have to play original music, Dave. 
All right. I like that. It has to be original. It can't right. be no no little remakes. They can't be the Jersey remakes. They can't, <laughs> they can't play the, the, the Shake Your Rump remix. The little exclusive shit that they got only? Nah. Right. None of that. It has to be original music. And the final <laughs> rule, the final rule, which everybody's going to love. But The final rule is this. DJs, your camera has to be facing your laptop. Me and Davies, we want to see what you're typing in your Serato. And it also has to be facing your turntables. No funny business. We want to see you DJ. And I'm going to tell you why. Because there is absolutely no searching for music you on got, the internet. You got to have it already. You got to have it. That means your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth has to be off. Right. Yes, DJ Khaled is my brother. He's in here right now. Shout out to him. Khaled. Everybody say I look like Khaled. Of course. You gotta run, you gotta run with that, Lou. I'm proud of it. That's my brother. <laughs> Khaled's my brother. He can tell you himself. We the, the best. But listen, there is you can't search for music. Your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth on your laptop of your Serato has to be off has to be off. We haven't found nobody cheating out of the three seasons. So I'm going to tell you right now. Don't be, the, don't be the first to cheat, man. That's bad work. No, this is what's going to happen. Not only do if we find you cheating, and not only do we disqualify you, I'm going to guarantee you that you will be working at a car wash in Queensbridge <laughs> for the rest of your life. You will never be a DJ again. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, yo, See, don't don't cheat, huh? <laughs> don't cheat. I swear to God, I won't get you a job at a car wash. Oh, man. You're going to be DJing in the car wash. This nigga Lou is crazy, huh? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, Dave, each DJ is allowed to take one pass. Mm -hmm. Is allowed to take one pass. Right. But with that one pass, I forgot to tell you, we have a superstar of the show. And the superstar is going to write something right now. Superstar? I'm going to pin it so you can see the superstar of the show. All right, but Once the superstar walk comes in here, hold up, making sure that I see it. 